this true China starts $50 trillion project in Afghanistan. Why China starts this project? Keep watching this video to get cleared. China has announced a massive new project to help build the future of Afghanistan. The country is currently in the midst of a $50 trillion reconstruction project, which will cover everything from infrastructure to healthcare. The project was announced by Chinese President Xi Jinping this week at an international conference on Afghanistan. The plan includes building new roads and railroads, as well as schools and hospitals. It also includes reconstruction of agriculture and irrigation systems in order to help farmers grow more crops. Afghanistan is at a critical juncture, Xi said. It needs strong support from all sides. According to Xinhua News Agency, China will provide $1 billion in funding for the first phase of the project. The United States has pledged $500 million toward the same goal. The project, which is expected to be completed by 2044, will be the largest building in the world. China currently has no plans to name the structure after its citizens, but it is widely speculated that it will be called China's Great Wall of India. The project is expected to include a series of dams and tunnels, as well as an airport with space for 30 million passengers per year. It is currently being built by Chinese laborers at a rate of one tunnel every two days. A new facility will provide Afghanistan with access to resources like coal, oil and natural gas that have been previously inaccessible due to existing infrastructure issues such as lack of infrastructure, and transportation networks. It will also help improve security in the country by giving troops better access to resources, while also providing them with better housing options for troops stationed there longer than usual deployments typically last. Chinese investment in Afghanistan's lithium sector, a long shot in the short term. Hypothesis is mounting that China will exploit the power vacuum made by the 2021 US, withdrawal from Afghanistan and look for strength over that country's mineral assets, especially its lithium stores. These assets assume a key part in the worldwide energy progress away from petroleum products and towards sustainable assets. Given its worldwide job in taking advantage of basic minerals, China's potential exercises in Afghanistan raise both security and great administration difficulties toward the West. In this piece, we unload a few motivations to have doubts of close-term Chinese drove interest in Afghanistan's lithium area while framing the more extensive international interests that might be driving China's moves here. Worry by the US and its partners about China's expected drive into Afghanistan's mining area is all around established. China is strategically and monetarily ready to take extra actions in Afghanistan. Beijing is strategically set up to hammer out mining agreements with the Taliban. It has kept its discretionary mission running in Kabul, implied that it might officially perceive the Taliban government, and voiced resistance to worldwide approvals against Afghanistan, however has avoided attempting to lift them. Unfamiliar Pastor Wang Yi even made an unexpected visit to the nation in late walk, the most elevated positioning unfamiliar authority of any country other than Pakistan, and Qatar to do as such after the Taliban's ascent to control. He criticized the political strain and monetary ascents on Afghanistan forced by non-territorial powers. Chinese Afghan mining bargains hypothetically seem okay. Chinese mining organizations could give the Taliban much required money to mellow the blow of a devastating global authorizations program, which has ignited a monetary and compassionate emergency. In return, Beijing would gain admittance to a new, plentiful wellspring of minerals basic to the public authorities' continuous decarbonization endeavors. Chinese strength across basic mineral inventory chains represents an essential test to the US. What's more, Europe's efficient power energy progress. The lithium found in Afghanistan is an essential part of huge limit batteries for electric vehicles and clean energy capacity frameworks. Copper, nickel, cobalt, and uncommon earth components are additionally found in Afghanistan, which are all urgent to the energy change. China as of now controls a critical portion of mineral handling limit and is moving forward downstream speculations to keep up with its command over these and different minerals. Chinese dominance across critical mineral supply chains poses a strategic challenge to the US and Europe's green energy transition. Maybe mindful of the test, Washington has as of late taken actions to support its own energy assets. Strikingly, President Joe Biden summoned a virus war resolution, the Safeguard Creation Act, to support U.S. creation of minerals and metals vital for electric vehicles and clean energy capacity frameworks. Chinese advances in Afghanistan additionally present worldwide administration and defilement questions. Indeed, even before the Taliban assumed command, Afghanistan was tormented by unfortunate administration, set apart by an absence of straightforwardness, powerless law and order, and high clash. Directly following the American leave, as supportive of a vote-based system, hostile to defilement force, however vigorously defective, has evaporated from the scene. The impact of China's entry, possibly as an accomplice in trillion-dollar business bargains, can't be anticipated. However, in different nations, China plays had a vague impact in enemy of debasement endeavors, best case scenario. Debasement has tormented Afghanistan previously, 
at the point when states can't carry out straightforwardness, responsibility, support, and other correlative components, as referenced in our utilizing straightforwardness to lessen debasement tap in addition to system, there is a more serious gamble that residents won't see the monetary improvement advantages of regular asset rents. Practically speaking, notwithstanding, American tension encompassing China's possible moves in Afghanistan's mining area might be lost. For the present, enormous scope Chinese improvement of Afghanistan's mining area is far-fetched, to some degree temporarily. There are significant business and functional obstructions, as well as administrative and security challenges. It appears to be improbable Beijing would make a forceful, high-risk lithium play in Afghanistan when different undertakings in its pipeline are simpler to create and in safer locales. The Taliban sits on largely unexplored but potentially significant natural resource wealth. Afghanistan's critical however generally unexploited mineral stores are esteemed at an expected $1 minus 3 trillion. Nonetheless, that gauge doesn't consider the uncommonly significant expense of getting to the stores. The 2019 Afghan mining area map assessed that the nation's stores incorporate basic assets for the energy change. as 2.3 billion metric tons of iron mineral, 30 million MTs of copper, and 1.4 million MTs of interesting earth materials. The nation is additionally accepted to have critical stores of lithium, possibly matching those of Bolivia, which at present has the world's biggest stores. Afghanistan's new intense monetary downfall has driven inquiries regarding how the nation might use undiscovered mineral riches. The nation is presently confronting an overwhelming philanthropic emergency exacerbated by expansion, a huge number of dollars in lost pay, and the breakdown of the nation's financial area following the Taliban's takeover. In 2021, the worldwide money-related asset cautioned that Afghanistan's gross domestic product could shrink by up to 30%. Given the flooding interest for lithium, there has been hypothesis that selling the undiscovered stores might offer the Taliban a chance to fashion genuine associations with global entertainers and secure a constant flow of legitimate pay. The Taliban already derives revenue from mining, but commercializing lithium will be difficult. There is now high-quality and limited-scope mining in Afghanistan, the majority of which is casual and unregulated, occurring beyond the country's formal monetary and administrative system. Mining was a primary wellspring of income for the Taliban, as well concerning Deesh, nearby volunteer armies, and warlords, all through the U.S. battle in Afghanistan. The Taliban laid out revenue streams from a generally different arrangement of minerals, involved mass wares, modern minerals, and all the more customarily lootable high esteem per weight minerals that are not difficult to get to showcase. The gathering is assessed to have acquired between $200 million and $300 million from mining, its second biggest income stream following opiates. This pay was obtained through a mix of direct mining pay, gathering semi-sovereignties and security installments from excavators, and travel tolls. Nonetheless, as things right now stand, the Taliban can't market Afghanistan's mining area, including lithium, without outside help. The Taliban's mining portfolio is for the most part included minerals that can be mined or potentially handled with restricted capital and innovation. Gemstones and gold are mined by high-quality and limited-scope diggers from surface or closed-surface stores utilizing generally simple cycles. However, mining and handling lithium is capital and mechanically concentrated and will along these lines expect outside speculation. Final thoughts. In the past, Afghanistan has been a place of conflict and turmoil. But today, China is investing $50 trillion in the country to help rebuild its infrastructure and make it more stable. The project is called One Belt, One Road and will bring infrastructure from China to Pakistan, Iran, Syria, Iraq, and Turkey. The goal is to help connect these countries with one another as well as with Europe. China's President Xi Jinping says that Afghanistan is a model of peace. He went on to say, we want our friends in the region to be able to enjoy a peaceful life and we want our neighbors to prosper. The project is being undertaken as part of a broader strategy of the Chinese government to expand its influence in the region. The country's military presence in Afghanistan is expected to increase significantly over time, resulting in an increase in economic activity and employment opportunities for local people.